Welcome back to Toronto. Always good to have you here, Julie. You. Um, congratulations on this. My goodness, and being a mom, oh my God, half of me wanted to rip my hair out and half of me was like, yeah, I get it. You know? I get it, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I hope this doesn't come from your true experience. No. Okay. So where well, actually experience, but from other people that, you know, have kids that are not leaving. My son is six, so I'm, I'm keeping him home for a little bit. Which is a good idea, for sure. That's fabulous. But where did it, like, initially, when you sat down to write this and you came up with this idea, like, how, it must, did it just flow? You know, I was a bit inspired by movies from the 50s, 60s, like Bad Seed, Carol Reed's film, or Children of the Dam. I mean, the idea that the bad person is actually the closest to you, which is your child, or even like The Shining when it's your husband, or there's something about like having the monster at home and the monster being someone that doesn't look like one is actually very fun to me. It's always been an exciting, almost kind of funny concept to me, you know? So I kind of explored that and then, you know, being a parent, you always question the fact, it's like, am I doing things right? Like. Am I loving my kid too much? Am I fucking him up by being too loving? You know, by saying he's the greatest thing in the world, am I doing the right thing, you know? At the same time, I believe it's better to do that than to put them, you know, because I have friends that have, you know, had parents that were not 100% supportive, and in the end, they're much more, more messed up than anyone else. Yeah. But it's like, if you end up with a kid that his ego is too, like you never said no, you never put limits, like what happens? Like, can you grow a monster, basically? I'm not in that situation because I know that the answer is yes, you have to put limits. Yes, you have to do certain things, you know, to not grow a monster, you know. But it's like some parents, because of the guilt of being a working mom, like, you know, Violet finds himself, and I've seen that in other friends of mine that have older kids, like, too much freedom, too much love, mm -hmm. too much love, but it's not just love, it's too much letting them just do whatever they want. Yeah. Is that love? Like, you know, at, at the end, I think the most love action she does to her son at the end is that she leaves him oh absolutely that's the true love yeah our you love have is to like let them fly you have, you to. have to let them go yeah. and i mean i'm far from that situation because he's six and i know it's going to be the hardest thing for me is to let go of my kid like the idea that he will leave my home one day and be on his own is like insanely unbearable to me but you know yeah that's the way it is you know so after making this film what was the best parenting tip you gave yourself uh, that I, that I should, you know, kind of, you know, for example, like, he could be with me one afternoon, but he wants to go to after school because he has more fun. Go to after school, you know, even though I wish I could just cuddle you and spend the whole day with you. I mean, he's six years old. It's really hard. But it's like already at six, you have to let them be a little bit, yeah. you know? So, I mean, probably, if I think about it, if I, if I let myself be the mother, you know, that I, I would naturally instinctively be, I'd be like this, you know, but I don't think it's good, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's Danny good. Yeah, was, was must have been great. I, I said he's fantastic. Him, she's very, I said, working with Julie must have been so lovely. And she goes, oh, no, no, she's not lovely, but she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he says that I'm crazy because... I think what he means by that, you know what's funny, way. actually, Ethan way. says the same thing yeah. about me, someone yeah. I've worked with yes. for a long time says I'm crazy, but when people work with me, they actually really, and I feel it makes people very happy because I don't know what crazy means, but I think, I don't take it as an insult because no, I take it as a, yeah. as a positive because I think in the world we live in nowadays, everyone's formatted. Mm -hmm. Everyone's more or less the same. Everyone want to fit in, in a way, in many ways. And I think, you know, I do not fit in, in a way. And I do not, you know, I have my own mind and I do whatever I want. And especially, I want to keep my freedom yeah. of making the films I want and different kind of things. Like, you know, my next movie is a drama and exploring something very dark. And, uh, and, uh, and it's great to keep the freedom. It's very hard. I have to fight every day to keep the freedom of not being formatted like, oh, I'm a comedy director and that's all I do, you know? I'm fighting that every day because in a way it's a prison. Like then you end up doing the same thing over and over and I, I want to keep the freedom of being, doing what I really want, you know? And one day a comedy, one day a drama, one day a sci-fi, I don't know what I'll be doing next. I want to surprise myself, you know? Well, we want you to keep surprising us. You're fantastic. Anything more with Ethan? You guys got to keep going together. 
Listen, so I don't know what we're going to do next. If, yeah. I mean, it's only been three, three years since we shot the last film. I mean, we finished, uh, yeah, in 2012, summer 2012, we yeah. shot the last film. It's not long ago, you know, so we have some time. We usually take our time, you know. Yeah, you, between films. You missed each other this, he was here earlier in the No, week, no, I heard, I heard, yeah, 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 we just missed each other. Well, you're a fantastic job. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Best of luck and have a really good time at the premiere tonight. Thank and, you. Uh, take care of yourself. Yes, <laughs> hopefully I won't have pain for the rest of my life. That's